Would you go back to Rob? No, I wouldn't. Okay. You want to be back on reality TV? I believe so. Well, so something like that, but a little bit better. The legal battle between Black China and the Kardashians has only just begun. And recently, China scored yet another huge victory in the court. But China's behavior has become really questionable, and now her fans are worried that she is trying to deal with drug addiction, which seems to be out of control. And this is very suspicious that her behavior has had such great timing, and many fans think that this is Kris Jenner and her PR machine who is trying to to do whatever it takes to make China look crazy. This is the glamorous channel, so let's discuss and figure out is it true that Kris Jenner is behind all of this? Stay tuned to know all the details. Black China and Rob Kardashian's relationship was not perfect, and they had a really messy breakdown. During her pregnancy with Rob's kid, Dream, China was saying that she was stressed out all the time. He stresses me out my entire pregnancy, accusing me of cheating, going crazy on me with massive text blasts daily, being an absolute lunatic, and then covering it up with gifts. Rob actually went that far and tried to control China because he thought she was cheating on him, and he even got her IG account hacked to find some evidence. China revealed, I never, not once, cheated on Rob. Ever. I gave him the passcode to my phone. I have nothing to hide. Rob is depressed and bipolar and needs urgent help. Then, Rob leaked a bunch of China's photos, videos, and text messages, once again accusing her of cheating and using drugs. China then took to IG and posted a huge message denying all the things he said, and then she took him to court because he broke the law by sharing her private information. Plus, she accused him of hitting her on multiple occasions during their relationship. China actually won that one, but then the Kardashians decided to stand up for Rob. They attacked Black China by filing a lawsuit against her, claiming she was the one who physically attacked Rob. They called her a stripper, a pseudo celebrity, and accusing her of using drugs. The main aim was to get full custody of Rob and China's daughter Dream. So the Kardashians had a plan to discredit China and show the world she was a bad mother who was addicted and constantly drunk. Here is Rob's filing. Although China did not drink or use drugs while she was pregnant with and breastfeeding Dream, as soon as she stopped breastfeeding in the second week of December 2016, she started to excess and using cocaine again. And suddenly, the Kardashian fans started sharing clips of China allegedly under the influence of drugs and alcohol, and stating that Rob really needs to get full custody of Dream. But as we already know, China is not afraid to fight the Kardashians, and now she is suing them for trying to destroy her career. And she is so vocal about it, especially in the way Kris Jenner is lying about China being abusive towards Rob. And right after China scored another victory in this case, a month later, new reports surfaced about China's alleged substance problem getting to a new worst level. If you hadn't seen this viral video yet, you probably should. Because recently, China was filmed at a Miami airport screaming at a fan who asked for a photo. And yes, it seemed like China was not doing really well. China was telling her fans to get vaccinated and called her a stupid bleep and denying rumors she's going broke. Just take a look at this video. No one knows what was really going on with China in this video, but it seems like she is going through something really tough. Some fans are speculating that she is not in the best place now because the fight with the Kardashians is not the easiest thing in the world, while some people think she is really going crazy and her drug and alcohol addiction is getting out of control. Thanks for staying to the end of this video. If you want to know even more crazy info about your favorite celebs, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.